This is David, one of our truest heroes. David Ladart lost his life June the 4th, 2012. We was able to get Haley Ladart, David's widow here, in this beautiful blue purple blouse down here. And uh, this is Haley, the widow of David, and this is their son, Braden. They've been with us here the last two or three days. We brought them in from Louisiana. And uh, mom, Debbie McLean, down here with the glasses on, and she's a gold star mom. David Ladart was a fine, fine young son to Debbie. We interviewed Debbie about David on about three or four weeks ago. She had called me and said, I'm hearing about what you're doing, Kentucky, and I need help. And I said, what can we do for you, Debbie? And she kind of choked up and sobbed and told me her story, and we decided to go and film with her as well as Haley from Louisiana on the phone. I'll say this to you. David Ladart, as a young man, Debbie described her son, happy-go-lucky, loving son. She said it seemed like every day when he was a little boy, she'd be at the sink washing dishes, and he would bring flowers to the sink every day. And David had uncles and family members that were all members of our armed forces, very patriotic, very proud. And David looked to his uncles and his family and said, you know what, like quite often happens across America, that your families will breed more of our truest heroes throughout their families. And he was so proud of his uncles that, that signed up to serve and serve this country and served with great strength and pride and nobility. And he told his mom at a young age, that's what I want to be. David enlisted at a very young age and ended up serving in Iraq. And he was serving into his second term. And David got injured, PTSDs. He got some injuries from war, which caused him some issues through PTSD and brain issues and this type of thing. David was married to Haley Ladard here. And this is David's son, I think just turned four or three? Four. This is Braden down here. And David, we interviewed Debbie over at one of the posts here in Florida a few weeks ago. And Debbie had asked us if we can help, and we're going to help. And I'm going to explain to you what we're going to help with. And we're asking for everyone here in any way that you can or if there's any ideas you have. I'm talking to congressmen and senators right now, Mitch McConnell, some different ones from Kentucky. We just want something restored, I'm going to tell you about in a minute, that's been taken away from this family, for this family to have peace after the loss of their loved one. We spoke to Haley as we were speaking to Debbie, and Haley described David as a loving father, a kind, kind man. That was Haley's husband and Braden's dad and Debbie's son. What happened to David was he got brain injuries, PTSD, and it was causing him issues. And those of you out here that are veterans that have been at war, you understand what I'm talking about. And that is that David started having flashbacks of war. Uh, there was the honest truth about it is that there was times that David uh, would wake up in the middle of the night and maybe just even grab Haley, not because he would ever harm Haley, just because he thought he was back at war. There was a time when they had just a bunch of clothes in the clothesline and he attacked the clothesline, trying to throw all the clothes off the clothesline. The 4th of July, he literally went down and covered his head when the fireworks were going off at the neighbor's house. He was having PTSDs, and then he started becoming a different David Ladark. Not because that he was a bad person, or not because that he was a changing man that wanted to have these things going on. He was having a hard time for PTSDs. They tried to get David help. He got help, and then they said, hey, you know what? David's okay. Well, the truth being, a little while longer, David was nowhere near okay. And David was struggling, and struggling bad. Now, I talk about a lot with Vietnam, 
and I talk about the suicide rate from Vietnam, there was 58,200 of our finest that died on the soil in Vietnam, and I tell people that three times as many have since died from suicide, from these type things we're talking about. David was having some of the same kind of struggles that some of our veterans from Vietnam and other wars were having. And it got to the point to where it came down to a Friday before the week coming around to the June the 4th, I think it was a Monday. David being a man, the kind of man he was, he was struggling inside of himself. And he was fighting to do what was right. He had gotten a promotion along the way to Sergeant E-5. And you can imagine the struggle going on that he's having all these problems with flashbacks. He's, he's not stable. He's not really getting the help he needs. So on a Friday before the week, the following week when he died, his mom, Debbie, was talking with him on the phone and said, please, David, we've got to get your help. And he said, the military's going to take care of me, Mom. They're going to take care of me. The following Monday, some things happened, and David got a little bit of ag aggressive, not because it was David. It was outside of David. It was from the problems he had from war. So on June the 4th, 2012, David hung himself in his garage. So David Ladark didn't commit suicide. We let David Ladark down. Now here's the part that we're asking for help on. We're pushing hard for it. This family, for the nobility and the service and the honor that this man gave to our country and lost his life for doing so, deserves cleansing. This family deserves cleansing. They deserve their son and their husband and their dad when he was about to be buried at the cemetery at the funeral home, was in his casket, and because they determined that he was having some aggression issues, he was never he was never charged with assault or anything like that. He did have some aggression issues. That was not not the nature of David. So it was not the true David, it was the, the service that done this to him, his service that he gave in honor for our country and our freedom. They decided the night before he was buried to take him out of his casket and remove his uniform from him. He was a ranking Sergeant E-5. They stripped him of his ranking, changed his uniform and dropped him and demoted him down two rankings below Sergeant E-5. I don't think so, folks. No, I'm sorry. That's not going to stand. Am I right or am I wrong? Right. Now, now listen to me. We removed soil. We had Haley flown in from Louisiana, and we're going to include David's soil from his grave site in the Veteran Soil Project that's going to go with the soil of many other of our finest across America from all 50 states to Washington, D.C., and he's the first person in the Veteran Soil Project that we're representing that the military would classify it as committing suicide, but again, he didn't. He did not. We let him down. He's a hero. He's one of our finest. He's one of our truest. All we're asking is, we're not asking for money. We're not asking for anything. We're asking for the adults that was involved in this that are probably great military leaders, just made a mistake. We're asking for them to stand up and say, we made a mistake. We should have never done what we've done. And we are going to replace David Ladarts, David Isaiah Ladart. This family wants his stone changed back to reflect Sergeant E-5. Right, Debbie and Haley? Right? Is that, is that too hard, folks? Is that too hard? Can we not come together for something like that? They want his stone replaced back to Sergeant E-5. They want his uniform put back on him that he had on. Anybody here that can help us, we're asking for help. I understand we've got some leaders here from our our Congress that's here today, and if you're hearing me out here, we need your help. We're fighting. We want peace restored to this family. We want them to be able to go forward with their life and have peace at heart. And all they want is David Isaiah Ladark restored to Sergeant E-5, his stone to reflect that, his uniform to reflect that, and for them to go forward in great pride. I will say this, we're about to bring 
the coffin forward. We've got the soil from David's grave from Louisiana. David was one of our truest heroes. And as this day, this is the first one that's classified as suicide. But folks, I want you to do one thing for me here. We're going to have JR play Amazing Grace. Is that okay, Debbie? Amazing Grace? Haley, is that okay? And I think that Debbie and Braden and Haley is going to come forward. Uh, our staff's going to help them. They've got three vials of soil from his grave. We're going to do a soil dedication to David Ladark. His soil will join the other soils across America of our truest heroes because that's what he is, a truest hero. Everybody across here, just stop what you're doing for a minute and stand up in honor of David Isaiah Ladark, one of our truest heroes. And we're asking for your support as great Americans in this great country that we live in. We're asking for you, anybody that can help us, to just get his Sergeant E-5 ranking restored and properly done so his son could look upon his dad in pride. We're going to ask now that uh, Debbie McLean, David's mom, Haley Ladark, David's widow, and Braden, his son, to come forward with the soil from his grave, symbolic of all of our veterans, and we're asking for your help in restoring his Sergeant E-5 ranking to where it properly should be for his service to our country. Anybody can help us. We want your help. Please. This young man right here is Braden Ladark, four years old. Braden, wake up, son. Braden's a beautiful young man. He looks just like David's pictures when he was a boy. Makes you proud, don't you, David? Haley? I don't mean to be so graphic, but the only way we can get our point across is that Braden is growing up without his father. That's what I keep telling you. These are our truest heroes. He gave to our country for our freedom. And now is not here with his son, his wife, and his mom. I'm going to take the soil from Debbie and Haley. David Ladark, died June the 4th, 2012. And when these folks walk back down, you know, I'm going to ask you to do something special like we done yesterday. When these folks walk back down through here, for David in heaven, to be able to look down and smile for his sacrifice he gave. 
like we done yesterday, I'm going to ask you to form two lines through here. I want them to walk through, and I want you to pat them and hug them and pat Braden on the back in pride for his father and his service. This young man is growing up without his father. I want everybody to form two lines here in just a minute. We're going to pray first. We're going to pray first. And I want you to pat this family on the back, and let's find some way to restore David Dark to Sergeant E5. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for our truest heroes, our heroes that give us the freedoms and the liberties in this great land of America. In God we trust. David Ladark gave the greatest sacrifice, and we're just asking for your blessings upon helping him to be restored to his rightful position of Sergeant E-5. It's not a lot. We're not asking that in anger. We're asking in support of our military forces. We're not in any way talking bad in any way about our military forces because we know they afford us the freedoms that we have. However, we are asking your blessings on helping us get this done so this family can go on and live. They'll always miss and have a hole in their heart but live with some type of peace that justice was done. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Let's form a line on each side and let them walk through, walk around the table here, Trevor. Let them come through here and let's pat them on the back as they go through here towards the uh, fried Oreo cookie section. Okay. It's right here on each side. Okay. Let's walk them through. Take the whole Stay with them. Go, go. As you guys are walking through, we'll bring the casket down. God bless this family. God bless David in the darkness. This is Braden Ladark, the son of David Ladark. Haley Ladark and his wife and his mom, Debbie McLean. Everybody step in from the other side and just give them a hug. Pat on the back. It's okay. It's fine. This is America. We can love each other. Debbie McLean, the mother of David Ladark, Haley Ladark, and their son, Brayden Ladark, a son of a hero of America. Pat him on the back and let him know how proud you are of him and his dad. Absolutely. Debbie McLean, the mother of David Ladark, Haley Ladark, the widow, the wife of David Ladark, and his son Braden, the son of a hero of our country. Thank you all so much for joining together and helping us with this. And Debbie, as y'all walk back over to your table here, I'm going to ask everybody in about, on a count of five, let's cheer one time to the good Lord above for David Ladark. I'm going to count to five, and I want everybody to cheer as loud as you can for David Ladark and his service. One, two, three, four, five. God bless you. heroes, our military, our veterans, our veterans of war and our veterans that served and were willing to go to war. God bless them all. Thank you all. We'll crank back up with some music in just a minute.